In today's video, I want to chat to you guys quickly about how to work with budgets in Sage Accounting. My name is Andrew Huber from SA Accounting Network. I've been working on Sage, I think, since about 2009. So I've been around the block a couple of times on this accounting package. And I think budgets is one of the coolest things that you can do in any accounting package because that is the purpose why you are doing all the work that you're doing, processing all the data, so you can actually start looking at figures and see what you can do with those figures inside your business. Yeah, so um, before I jump down to my computer to show you guys how everything works with budgets, remember to give the video a like, remember to hit subscribe, and let me quickly show you guys how to work with budgets on Sage Accounting. Yes, <clears throat> so for the purposes of this video, I'm just working on the demo company just to give you some you guys a little bit of insights of how to set up budget and how to look at budgets and stuff on Sage Accounting. So, where do you find budgets? If you go to company, and the company, there's budgets, and you can see there you've got three options to add a budget, a list of budget, and budget report. So let's maybe go to the first one, and we're going to say that we want to add a budget. So under the add a budget, I'm just going to maybe use the, um, the name, we're just going to say current year. <coughs> and then what we will do is, you see over here, it gives you two options now. So is the budget for this year or for the for the following year? I'm going to let's call it 2026. So we can say that the budget is for this year or for next year. I'm going to keep it in this year because we're obviously in the 26 financial year. But if you start planning towards your budget for next year, then obviously you're going to use the next year figures. And now you have two options over here to create your budget based on historical data or to create your own budget manually. So let's look at the first one first. And then I'm going to say next, obviously, um, on Sage, the demo company doesn't have a lot of data in it. So if I say last year, there's probably not going to be any information in there. So I'm just going to say this year. So the, the nice thing, if I say last year, then it actually pulls all the information through from the previous year. And then you can see over here, you can see that you have some options to use this year actuals and adjust uh, and, and round the values to increase by 0%. So you just keep it exactly the same as what it is. Or we can say that we want to increase at least, for instance, for five, at 5% 5 and to round it down to the nearest range. So now if I say create budgets, then you'll see what this budget is going to, going to look like. <clears throat> so on the other option, we were talking about the manual one then. So it doesn't give you the other information then. So you would have to probably print out an income statement, look at a year-to-date report and see how much you spend in every month. And after that, you're going to take that information uh, if it's a yearly figure, divide by 12 to find out what your monthly amount is, and that is the amount that you would then populate into your budget. But you can see, here it is. So now I can see that we've got a current year budget, and these are the amounts that it pulled through. So I can then go see, if I say that there's one, let's call it 1.2 million, and then if I want to use that figure, you can see that little blue button. If you click, click on that button over there, it gives you some options to say copy this value, across to each month going forward or to copy it over and to increase it by 1%. You can see every, either once off, you can make it every two months, every quarter. Let's maybe make it two months. And I say copy now, then you can see that it keeps us the same for two months. It increases it then for two months. Then it goes over. Let's say, for instance, you estimate that October is a busy month for you. Then you can go change the amount for October itself and put in 250,000 rent as you expected sales. And you can see it still keeps the other amounts the same. And then you can look at your expenses. You can see your purchases. It's got it about 940,000. Rent. So let's do the same. So we're going to say 940,000 rand. We're going to click on the button over there. We want to increase it. Um, why is my computer not working now? We're going to press that button over there. We're going to say that we're going to increase it every second month, as we did with the previous sales amount, with 1%. And then we say copy now. Then you can see it takes a 940,000 rent, increases in the two months. Remember that we adjusted the figures for October, so we will just then manually go adjust our cost of sales for October as well to say that we estimate this event is to be 200,000 rent for that month. Then you can see it keeps the other months the same. So then we, when you get your expenses here, you can start filling in the, the, the cost for your expenses. So you can say 500 rent per month for uh, your advertising. And then once again, if you click on the button, come on, why is my button not working? Might be my laptop. But then that button over there is going to give you the option once again to copy the values exactly the same for the following months. And you can see there it populates the information. If I take something like rent and we say 5,000 rent, I'll click on my little button. Yeah, there we go. And we're just going to keep it the same. And then you can populate your budget like that. Once you've got it done, ideally you would have to have a look and see what your budget is, net profit is. Uh, so at the moment we're making quite a huge loss. 
but um, obviously you will tweak it as you go along and then that would then be your budget report based on historical data. So if you want to do one from, from scratch, like I say, it's going to work exactly the same. You're going to press the button, new button over there, create new budget, and then you're just going to change from the first button and be pressed down to the second one to say that you want to create it manually. You can see you've got this new budget report that you can press as well, which is really, really nice. And then it just gives you basically a summary of what you've done inside your um, budget that we created now. Let's quickly see if it's going to work. Yes, and then you can see there you've got your budget. So this is your budget that you created now. So what would you do with this budget? If you go to reports or if you go to accountants area reports, um, there we go, go management reports, profit and loss, and then here the magic starts happening. So if you say profit and loss and you go look at what happened during the current month uh, and you want to compare to your budget, see there's your budget. You can choose which budget you're going to be using. The current year budget, we, we, we created this one just now. And what we will say is that we want to create a budget variance as well. So if I see a view report, then from here, you can see that it will pop out the report to say, uh, what is your income actual for September? And uh, what is the September budget? And what the variance is. Anything in blue is good because it means that you incurred or you earned more income as what your budget was. Oh dear, our budget is not very nice there. And you can see our expenses, our actual expenses was 1.3 million rand. Um, our cost of sales was 960, our budget, and you can see that we overspent on that. But our gross profit is still in blue, so it made, we made more money than what we budgeted for. And you can see with the expenses, we budgeted 500 rand, we did spend 10,000 rand, so we're 9,500 over budget. And then you can look at that for all the other expenses. So the other nice thing to work this one, this one as well, is if you go to um, a yearly one, <clears throat> because you'll see that as soon as you choose year to date, it doesn't actually give you the option to compare this with budget. You can see it grays it out. So you only have two options. You can either do it on a monthly basis, or you need to go to a yearly one, and then this yearly one you can create, compare to your budget, and once again you can import your budget variances. Press refresh, and then you can have a look and see what you are doing with your year-to-date totals. And then on this report that we're looking at here, it will then give you information about March, what was the actual, what was the budgeted amount. Ah, I just want to see why my screen is not scrolling to the right. Um, um, but then... Let's see, did I press the right button? Here the current year. Oh, what I must do is this button over here. I must say that I want to look at it on a monthly basis and I say refresh. Then you can see now, so obviously that was a yearly budget that we were looking at now, but now I can see I've got the monthly one over here, where you can then go see what happened on a month-to-month -month basis. What was March actual figures? What was the budget? What is April's actual figures? What was the budget? And then this one gives a quite extensive report that goes all the way through to the end of the financial year. Normally, if you're only halfway through the year, what we normally prefer to do is you export this into an Excel spreadsheet. And then the months that you don't use, you just delete those because then you still have the information on a, on a workable Excel spreadsheet. And once again, like I said, remember, budget is always something that's not set in stone. It is something that's there to guide you in your business. And then, um, so if you need to go adjust your budget again, if you realized you made a mistake or your budget was not as it's supposed to be, then you can go back to list of budgets and then you can just go edit your budget over here. So I just want to just pop back. Remember, our budget had a mistake here. So if I go there and I say edit, then I can go change this budget over here because remember, I think my sales figure was gibberish. It was not... Accurate. I put it down as 120,000 rand, and you can see we had a cost of sales of 940,000. So I think we were missing a um, zero. Let's quickly see if I can change that 123. Uh, so to copy this over, and we want to increase it once again um, every second month by 1%. And I say copy now. And then after that, we say save. So now, if we had to go back to our reports, then it would actually make a little bit of sense what we're looking at. So if I go back to accountants area, if I go to reports, management reports, <coughs> profit and loss, and we look at our income statement now and compare that to our budget, <coughs> then it will make a little bit more sense. So I say budget, look at my budget variance, have you report, and then let's have a look and see what it populates now. Yes, 
So, if I had to look at this report, now I can see my actual sales was 3.9 million, budget 1.2, so with 2.7 over in sales, our cost of sales is 1.3 million, we budget 964, so therefore we are 384 over on our expenses, but you can see our GP is still above what we budgeted for uh, for the year. So I think in short, that is how the budgets work. It's not a very complicated thing, but you need to know where the buttons are. And once you, once you can get your budget set up properly, it is definitely a management tool that you can use to track your expenses to make sure that all the expenses are, are staying in line with where it's supposed to be. And it's also for your sales to be able to track your sales, whether you're meeting your targets every month as far as sales go. Yes, so remember to give the video a like, remember to hit subscribe, and then keep an eye out for the next video. Thanks for watching.